get us started this afternoon, I want to welcome our founder of this dream and who, where this all began. I want to welcome Ms. Gail Sylvia Poland. She's the president of MTA Global Foundation and founder. I've only been in Tucson for three years, and I've met wonderful people like Ann. Ann's the one that connected Dee Dee with the pilot experience that you had this morning. I met Ann in a Pilates class. <laughs> and now we're doing things globally. LaDon, oh, she knew us. Yeah, that's what I said. So lots of new friends, lots of old friends. We had the mayor from his wife and the women from the city council in Nogales, Sonora, Mexico, here today and speak at a session. They came up from Mexico. Dr. Melanie Harris, if you would stand up here from Dallas. I was with Dr. Harris in New York three weeks ago we met when I was on a panel and talked about Girls Fly, but how this fits into a global model and wanting to get a gathering together that included Alice Walker, to which she says, would you like to come and have dinner with her in Dallas, which I was there last Thursday. She's sitting next to Roberta, um, excuse me, Rebecca, Sweet and Eddie Perez from Ohio that, flew up, that did the dance session this morning. You can stand up from Ohio. Stand up here. I started crying when I saw them because they mean so much to my heart because they're, they help one of my longtime dreams become a reality. I'd always wanted to dance, but never saw myself as being a dancer. And they said everybody could dance. And then the first time I went on that ballroom dance competition floor, well, before I went on the floor, you came in the back room and you said, hey, how are you doing? I said, I'm a nervous wreck and I'm never doing this again. And you said, but you haven't done it yet. <laughs> and then I went out with Eddie. As soon as the music starts and we put ourselves out there, a whole other world opens up, an entire different experience. And I believe that's what everybody experienced this morning was being available. These two girls, we had, we went on a, su a sushi scavenger hunt last November around Tucson, and then the next morning went to Chantilly Tea Room. And while we were together, we were talking about how much fun we were having, and I asked them the question, "What well, you know, what do you dream of doing? What are your dreams?" Hannah said, "I dream of being on in Broadway." dancing. And sitting next to her was a lady that was 40 years old. When we got to her and asked her what her dream was, she couldn't answer. She teared up, said, can you come back to me? So then we went around the room. And the younger the girls were, the more immediate their response, the connection that they had with their passion and their dreams. The older they were, the more disconnected. And their younger sister, Amy, who's not here, right now because of other fun activities going on, said, but we need all girls at all ages to be able to know what their dreams are and to connect with them. Wouldn't it be fun to give this experience and share this with everyone else? That's how this started, from a conversation like that with women and girls between ages nine and 55. And thank you, Hannah and Emily, so much. Thank you so much. You know, just wanted to share that. What Girls Flies represent today, and there are going to be people strolling in, so just, we're going to go through with the program, but they're coming in from different sites. Um, someone asked me how did it start and what made Girls Fly so important to me, and my immediate response was if you took how I live my life, how I view my life, um, pumped it with a whole bunch of steroids, which I don't use, and then jammed it into one day, it would be Girls Fly. It's this global perspective about the good around us, the good people who are actually around us. Instead of all the negativity that we're so often bombarded with, especially by the media, um, there's lots of good, a lot of good people connected with their passions who are willing to share those passions. So I'm going to point to someone else, Evie Ramirez. Evie um, is one of the wonderful technicians that I use at Posse's Hair Salon, shampoo bowl, talking. How's your daughter? She wants to be a pilot, and I don't know where to meet a pilot. Here's her daughter. Now, stand up, stand up. 
And did you go up on a plane today? Are you going to be a pilot? Did you meet a pilot? How many pilots? Three. Yeah, there are four here today from United Airlines. Um, Lashaka Holmes, she's right here from the Coast Guard. She flew in from Los Angeles. But I just want to thank everyone, encourage everybody to not give up on our own dreams inside and not on those and the good that's in others, but to actually feel inspired and empowered to move forward.